Hi, I'm Peggy. I'm Laura. And we are Urban, Urban Booze. Booze. And Urban Booze, if you guys are not familiar with us, we are two friends who are adventurous and we are foodies first and foremost, but we are foodies who like to try new things. Mm-hmm. So with that, what are we trying to do, Laura? <laughs> We are pairing our food, our comfort food, what we cook for ourselves and our families with the wine. We're learning about beer, wine, um, spirits, whiskey, and spirit. vodka. We've had yeah. different we got, things that we've Yeah, we got to work on the, the vodka the rum. Spirits, we got, we right. get there. We'll get to the, the tequila and gin one day. Yeah, one day. That's, that's a goal. That's a goal. And if you have the opportunity to see what we've done during this journey, we have met some really, really cool people. Uh, people of color, black folk who mm-hmm. are who are throwing their hat in the ring in the in the the craft beer business, in the wine mm-hmm. business, mm-hmm. whiskey, and we hope to find that much more doing rum and tequila. Right, we're we're out there looking, and currently none of this is sponsored. We buy all of our own. All but if you own. know anyone who's making something special out there, let us know. Hit let us, us know. We will review it. We'll talk about it and we'll try it. All right. And or Mr. or Mrs. Winemaker, beer maker, champagne. If you want us to sample your stuff and see how it holds up to our home cooking, we're open to it. We are open to it. That's right. And today's show is about corks. Corks, corks, corks. Why you say corks? Laura's daughter said, does it make a difference? And, I said, and we said, hell, let's talk about it. Right, let's find out and let's talk about it. Exactly. So what we found out is that the different types of corks and different types of wine stoppers, holders that are on wine. They have a lot of different kinds of closing systems now. Right, right, right. So I said, let me look at my little collection of corks that I have now accumulated. And I found there's synthetic, Mm -hmm. one called agglomerated, it sounds nasty, but agglomerated, which is, a, I think, a mix of synthetic, a synthetic material, and some pieces of cork, because you can still see it. And then the traditional cork, which <laughs> I broke. Right. And cork, <laughs> the problem with cork, and people are, you know, which is why she was asking about it, is, you know, they, you open it with the cork, and it's a big to do at the restaurant, and you smell it. And right. it's like, well, is this okay? Is that okay? The cork, as you can hopefully see, yeah. it breaks. And if it breaks in the bottle, the bottle is ruined. So what you have to always do is, is keep your bottle on the side so the cork, let's see if you can see that, the cork stays moist because it's on the side. Yeah. If you keep it this way, it'll dry out. Yeah, so it's, it's real traditional. Um, obviously, saving green is probably going to be less of mm-hmm. that you'll see around. And so I wanted to show you something that I came across that I showed in a, another episode. Is This is a real pretty stopper. Don't know if I can open it. Let's I see. saw that. that um, I can't a- open it, but take a look. This is another wine mm-hmm. stopper, little plastic. It's pretty. Difficult for those who can't open stuff like I can. And then, of course, the ever easy twist top. Twist top. Now, and then, uh, let's see, one other sample. You're going to see box top, plastic box top. So the is there a difference? <laughs> right. Is there a difference? Well, well, yes. You know, as Laura said, you know, with the more traditional ones, it'll be best if you laid it on its side to keep it moist. And certainly um, your wine has a, a bigger chance of spoiling or, you know, if you keep it with the cork, if you don't, you know, have it the right way laying on its side. Right. Synthetic, it'll stay forever because it's synthetic. It'll mm-hmm. keep it airtight. And I'm sure this is a close second, the, the mixture of the cork and the synthetic. So, But there's also one, you know, Peggy showed you the, the cute little box. You can get wine in a box, wine in a thick plastic bag that's inside the box. Right. The beauty of some of those is that once you open them, you can close them and the integrity of the wine stays. It, right. You it stays a little bit longer. It, you, it'll keep longer, right. Then wine also comes in a can. The beautiful McBride sister she can. If you oh, look yeah, back at one of our old episodes, you'll yeah. see we had that. It was a beautiful gold and silver brushed can. It's so pretty. So pretty. But, but the wine was fine. Right. Well, well, today I'm about to pour some Riesling. I'll talk about Riesling another time, but that's one of my favorites. I like to see how different 
different uh, winemakers handle Riesling, and this one is Brotherhood, but um, ooh, where New York is opening, we are in stage one. Is it? Yeah, let's drink one. to that. Let's drink to that. <laughs> <laughs> we getting out. We getting out. We're getting out. Getting out of the house with get a mask. Out. I got to get a cute mask. What? I'll send you some more masks. Yeah, I, I, I want a cute one. I saw one that was kind of blinged out. I was like, ooh. I've seen the sequin ones too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna make that one for myself. Shit. Right, right. It's the crafter yeah. in me. So, you know, you know. I mean, you know, the the big, the wine, the real serious winemaker. First of all, I know I'm holding it wrong, but you right, know, hold on with the stem. You have the stem. You've done the course. Okay, look, look, look. There I gotta go. try this. I can't hold stuff right. So, what is it? It is C. It is swirl. Mm-hmm. Snell. Mm-hmm. I don't like the smell. Oh God. What does it smell like? Is it grassy? Is it oh, grassy? <laughs> I'm afraid to rose, try it. The rosé you had last week had a little, had a, a bit of a grassy note to it too, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Let me see. Mm. I still like it though. <laughs> but well, it's brotherhood. If it was based on sniff, y'all, this would have been left alone. But, um, it's brotherhood and one of the things i'd love to do because you talk so much about them is maybe we could take a road trip up there one day mm. in the summer when we're outside yeah be out and walk through that'll yeah. be yeah nice. so what you're not you're not cheering with me that we, we're about to get the hell out the house at least for a I little am, bit i am cheering oh I, you don't I, have a glass okay i don't have a glass i don't have a glass that's okay that's okay but you know hopefully guys you will Check us out, see what we have to say. We do, we are opinionated and we're trying to keep this minimal mm -hmm. uh, this time, but we wanted to show you what you're going to find now when you go to the wine store. Don't thumb your nose up at something that's not traditional because it is still good. That, this screw top, Riesling, not bad. I will see, I'm going to see how that matches up. I'm making fish tacos with some shrimp tonight. Yeah, so I'm probably going to drink my Riesling with, with that. Dave, uh, we're just going to do a basic salad. I fried chicken. You know right. my struggles with fried chicken, but I somehow managed this particular oh, Sunday. Okay. I managed it, and it, we still have leftovers. So it's I'm going to put good. that on some salad, and mm -hmm. that's dinner. And if you guys are wondering, you know, what can you pair this with? Um, Recent kind of holds up to spicy uh, foods. It really, um, it will, it will go really well. I was reading that too. It's not that I'm all that. But um, I and I had served it with curry chicken one time, and I realized it was good. I'm like, okay. Um, my goal is to try the riesling out of Germany. Mm -hmm. See how that goes. I think you know, eventually we'll start hitting regions and having some fun with that. My my go to. Oh, Schaffenhoff. Okay, she has beer, but we were. This is a cork show, guys. I hope you learned something from it. <laughs> you know, yeah. Okay, here, do our cheers. 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 Ching ching. Okay. So, you know, you know, okay. keep following Urban Boost. Click that notification button. And, and you subscribe, know, subscribe. And subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. So you know that when we come up, we're trying to be consistent. We're trying to do this Wednesday thing. So we would love to hear from you. What should we try next? Or do you know somebody who can send us something that we could try next? Or is there something <laughs> that you like that's small that you know somebody is making? Somebody just started making their shandy? You touch your shandy and we'll exactly. put it right with our jerk chicken. Exactly. So up. Exactly. So until next time, we are Urban Booze exploring what's good. good. Sip, sip by, by sip. sip. Bye. Bye.